Dillian White offers to fight Luis Ortiz on the 22nd of December in the UK. Now, <clears throat> this all started from Luis Ortiz putting out a message saying, listen here, young man, there is a spot open on this Wilder Fury card, so why don't you strap your nuts on and come face me so I can show you a good ass whooping, son. Now, after seeing the story on social media, White tweeted at BoxingScene.com saying, we can go December the 22nd. Now, December the 22nd in the United Kingdom is the date locked in for White's ring return and a rematch against Derek Chisora. It's currently being negotiated, but a fight against Ortiz would be the matchup that many fans would like to see, including myself. Now, it makes more sense for Dillian White to fight Luis Ortiz on pay-per-view as opposed to fighting Derek Chisora for two reasons. Number one... It will open, it would raise his stock a lot higher. And number two, of course, the WBC have stated that the winner of this matchup will become the mandatory for the WBC belt. Now, Dillian White, of course, his biggest loss came to Anthony Joshua, or should I say his only loss. Now, since losing to Anthony Joshua, Dillian White has actually gone on quite a remarkable run. I mean, he's defeated Derek Chisora, um, Robert Hellenius, um, got a beautiful stunning knockout over Lucas Brown, and then, of course, his um, unanimous decision against Joseph Parker. Now, the great thing about this now, he's defeated a former world champion. Um, he's done everything you could possibly ask him to do. And on top of that, he's been very entertaining at the same time. So it's only right that Dillian White is actually given a shot. But I think defeating Luis Ortiz would be the icing on the cake. Um, The reason for that, look, Anthony Joshua defeated Joseph Parker. It was one of his best wins. And of course, the def and then, of course Deontay Wilder defeating Luis Ortiz. That has to go down as his biggest victory on his CV. Now... If Dillian White can add Luis Ortiz to his CV, then of course he's just got as much credit as a current world champion. So, look, fantastic opportunity. And I think this is one that he definitely shouldn't miss out on. Now, moving forward and having a look at Luis Ortiz. Look, Luis Ortiz now, he currently has 29 victories with one loss. 25 by KOs with his only defeat coming by KO to Deontay Wilder. Now, when you have a look at Luis Ortiz's CV, it's clear to see that his two best victories were over Malik Scott and Tony Thompson. And even those two, you know, yes, title challengers, but nothing more than that. You know, and when he stepped up to face Deontay Wilder, even though he put in a stunning performance and maybe if he had a bit more gas, he may have been able to take him out. But unfortunately, he was stopped in the ninth round in that battle, if I remember correctly. Now, Luis Ortiz has bounced back to beat another, pretty much a journeyman in Razvan Kudrunu at the Staples Centers where he knocked him out in the second round. But once again, he's in a position where he desperately needs to fight a big name. Now, you can almost say that Dillian White is treating him by allowing him to fight on the 22nd of December. But at the same time, look, it's, they could both bounce off each other's energy. And what Luis Ortiz would gain from defeating Dillian White would be that, once again, he's got a credit that would give him a credible name on his CV. And it could allow him to challenge for a world title again down the line, which would be quite amazing. Um... Now, the World Boxing Council president, Mauricio Solomon, would love to sanction a final eliminator between heavyweight contender Dillian White and Luis Ortiz. Um, look, so all more reason for these two to get it on. I mean, I think both fighters really have nothing to lose and have it all to gain. Um, Dillian White probably has a bit more to lose because... I believe he should be challenging for a world title at this current stage and doesn't really need Luis Ortiz. But at the same time, 
defeating Luis Ortiz would cement his mandatory and nobody, I mean, nobody would be able to question um, the decision for him to be mandatory. So look, let me know what you think, guys. This is Box Harder with our first video. We're only going to get better from here. Um, look, please leave your comments and let us know what you think in the section below. Cheers. Have a good one.